Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick check-in. It's been a while since I've done a check-in, actually. So, um, let's see. So the big event this past Friday was uh, my daughter Sydney's senior uh, formal dinner. Uh, not a prom, because proms aren't quite allowed yet in the state. And uh, <clears throat> not a dance, because they couldn't dance. But uh, it was still a formal dinner. And uh, we uh, hired a car, a limo, for Sydney and her friends to go to the event. It was really, really nice. Um, uh, special occasion limousine in Plymouth, wonderful. I uh, always have great things to say about them. Uh, Mark, the driver, was wonderful and kept us in the loop all evening. And it was just, it was really great. I think the, I think the young people, I don't, don't want to say kids, young adults, because I think they're all 18, or most of them are almost, or 18. Um, I think they uh, enjoyed it, and they, certainly their parents seemed to like it, and uh, it was fun. It was really fun. I was trying to make it special for Sydney and her friends um, in these still kind of kooky times. So that was really great, and Sydney looked gorgeous. I'm being biased, but I think she looked lovely, and uh, the dress really worked, and <clears throat> she had her hair and makeup done. <laughs> Insistence by mom at a local salon, and I think it really looked nice, and she looked beautiful. And anyway, trying to enjoy her uh, uh, senior activities as much as we can. Um, so that was that, and uh, we're all officially fully vaccinated as the family in Plymouth. The Cuddles of Plymouth are fully vaccinated. I was the last to get my second dose. Uh, this past Thursday, um, Wilson was able to get a single dose, the Johnson & Johnson, with no side effects. Um, I didn't really have side effects either on the second dose. Um, a little bit of a headache that evening, but nothing uh, terrible. And um, so that's good. It's one milestone taken care of. Um, let's see, what else? Work is very, very crazy, very insane. Um, Got some nice, very nice feedback from one of my client directors, uh, which was always positive, but um, it's just been really busy with work. Um, I'm enjoying it for the most part, I'm learning a lot, and it's a nice group of people overall I'm working with, so that's all positive. Um, some other things aren't quite what I'd like, but when is anything quite what one likes? <laughs> At least in my career, it's always been sort of a mixed bag, and I don't expect anything uh, less, I guess, now. But um, in any event, so work has been very crazy. And I haven't, you know, I've been posting pics and all that, but I haven't had a lot of time for chats and all that stuff just because I'm, I'm really out straight. Uh, training. Training's going well. i um, been working with Mark Featherston, as most of you know by now, at the Powerhouse Gym in Plymouth. Um, really enjoying the sessions with him. I'm, he's taking me kind of to a new level. Um, you know, I learned a lot through Christy, and I'm learning a, a lot uh, with Mark. Kind of a different approach, but still, um, I'm really enjoying it. He's kind of taking me to the limits I can get to safely, but uh, with no less. Uh, it's hard. I've lived, lifted some pretty heavy weights with Mark, um, but he, he is very much aware. Uh, we're certainly in the same age group, so he's much aware of um, the differences between training a teenager versus someone in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and then there's me um, at 56. But um, I feel really good about it, and so that's been the very, very good. Uh, other than that, um, things are going pretty well. All things considered equal, Allison's been in her new job and seems to like it, and they seem to like her. Um, Sydney, as I said, she's uh, be wrapping up school at the end of the month. She graduates on June 5th, so we will have a, a local celebration, really just the family. Hoping my mother can come, uh, I will go up and get her, if all things considered equal, and uh, she'll come down. For the, uh, for the event, but uh, we're going to put off any kind of uh, larger family and friends event until um, early August. We figure by then, hopefully things will have settled more from a COVID perspective, at least for the family. Um, everyone will have been fully vaccinated at that point, I should imagine, and, the, and our friends. So, um, and then we can do it outside. We're actually working on our backyard this summer. It's a mess from the dogs and uh, 
probably more so the, this tree we have in our backyard. The roots are just all surfaced and they're killing the lawn. So we have to have it we're kind of doing a, um, we're going to replant the lawn in the perimeters and then um, we're actually kind of extending out. We're kind of going to create an outdoor space with uh, railroad ties and stones and a little fire pit and kind of enjoy the yard that way. So that should all be in place <clears throat> by August, early August anyway. So that's when we're hoping to do a family and friends celebration for Sid um, before she and certainly her cousins, her, uh, my, my nieces, go back to school. Um, they'll be juniors in college so that's kind of the plan there and um, Wilson's doing well he's, he's been doing pretty well in project growth and uh, at home um, so all things considered equal things are going okay uh, finally on the cosplay front so I will actually hopefully knock on I don't even wood in the car but you know what I mean um, I'm doing a local event in Tiverton, Rhode Island, on June 12th, I believe it is, or June 11th. It's a Saturday of that weekend with the Tiverton uh, Police Department. Um, my friend Bill Vieira, who's now a selectman in Tiverton, um, uh, is also the founding member of the Tiverton Cosplayer Group. And so uh, I've been invited and a few others um, will be superheroes and characters at... Um, an event hosted by the Tiverton Police, as I said. Um, I think it's, I forget, it's a fundraiser. I have to look at the website, but they raise money every year. And so, um, looking forward to that. Hopefully, you know, mid-June, things will be a little better than they are from a COVID perspective. And I will be masked as necessary. If uh, and I actually have a Superman, I'm thinking I'm wearing a, not, not the heavy, I'm still working on my custom Man of Steel suit that Jason Evans created. I have to glue all the armor pieces on, but I have a lesser expensive uh, suit, but um, I'm thinking I'll wear that. It has its own cape. I have some really cool Man of Steel boots, and I have a matching mask, so I might, if I need a mask, it would be a great, great uh, way to debut that. So anyway, that's in June, and I'm hoping maybe there'll be a few other events as things free up. And uh, we'll see. But um, I think that's everything for now. So I'll sign off. I hope you're all doing well. Um, and I hope everyone's uh, kind of coming out of this. I know different parts of the world, COVID is affecting countries differently. Um, I'm happy, at least in the States, things are turning around. I hope more and more people will continue to get vaccinated. And... Um, believe in the science and the research so uh anyway other than that hope you all have a nice sunday have a great week stay safe be kind and god bless bye-bye